Welcome to vCard Global. Today I'd like to show you a little bit about the vCard mobile app. This is a great tool to start marketing and networking. Let's do this. The first thing to get your app is you need to go to the Google Play Store or you need to go to iTunes and download the app. You're going to find it under vCard Global and you're going to see a blue screen like you see on my screen right now. This blue screen is what's going to come up. In order to use the app you need to have your app security code and in order to get your app security code you need to log into vCard Global. So we're going to do that now. So you go to vCardGlobal.com and click the login button and log in with your vCard Global username and password. Now the reason why you have an app security code is it will allow you to, um, and that's my dog Bosco, so let's go and find the app again. The app, what it does is it allows you anytime you have a, um, you know, if you need to change your device, you get a new phone, um, and when you log in again using the security code, all of your contacts are saved for you. So that's why you want to use this. And um, so I've logged into the vCard Global back office, and then on the left hand or the right hand side, on third button down, you need to go to vCard Builder. So this red and blue button, click on that. And this brings up the, um, you, you, you need to pick your site that you're going to use. And I'm going to use Roberta Williams. I'm going to log in as her. And as you can see here, right there on the left-hand side, I see that it says the Roberta Williams and her app security code. And we're going to use that to log into the app. So type in your profile name. And your app security code and anything that I put in the app will be safe for me for the future okay so we've logged into the app and let's try another screen here there we go that's just gonna be a little easier for everybody to see what we're looking at there so this is our this is your app and if you click on your profile, you can see all of your information is here. And the first thing that I want to show you how to do is how to share your contact with others. You just click on that share contact button right here. I'm going to click on that. You're going to have three choices here. You can share by email, you can share by text, and you can share by QR code. That means when someone scans, they can use the QR code scanner, this button way down here at the bottom. When they use that, they can scan this QR code and it will automatically add that contact to your app. So that's when you're networking and you've got other vCard members there. You guys can scan each other's QR codes. It's kind of fun. The simplest thing to do though to share your card right away is to just click share by text. And then you're going to have the option of choosing different messages. I'm going to just use the default message here, proceed. And then you type in the number that you want to share it with. And you send it. And there it is. Here's my message. Comes back here to me. And as you can see, as it comes through, it has this beautiful picture of Roberta here. So this is a great way to send someone your card. Um, I've got the picture of Roberta here. It's great meeting you. Here's my digital business card. And if I click on the link there, it opens up her full card. And you can go through and see all of her information here as well. Now, if you're sending to someone who is not yet on the vCard network and they don't have the vCard app, they could just use this download button right here red button right here and they can download that contact directly into the native contacts on their phone okay so that's the, that's the easiest thing to do um, that's this is how you can get started and how you can start networking and let's see here let's move on and let me show you some other features of the app so we're gonna go back to the app itself okay and um, at the bottom here of the screen you have a few choices you can see here we've got contacts add a contact let me show you how easy it is to um, add a contact. Click on Add Contact. And then if you're standing with someone and you just want to add their contact, all you need to do is type in the name of their profile, click Done. And there it goes. I can go to Alan's profile, and there you see it. 
So that's as easy, so easy to add that contact. And now that I have connected with Alan, if I want to start sharing his card with other people, like if you're like me, you know, you meet, you're, you're a networker. So you've got all these people in your team. And if you want to start to promote them, um, you know, I don't have to now walk around with 40 business cards or, you know, 500 business cards in my wallet anymore. All I need to do is walk around with my phone. And I can go and let's say here, let's go to my contact list. And let's say I say someone says, oh, I'm really looking for a great mortgage, you know, someone who can help me with my mortgages. I can say, oh, I know George, he can help you with your mortgages. So I click on George's uh, profile and then I say share contact. And then I just say share by text again. And then, then I send it to you. I just go and I say, okay, I'm going to text you George's card right now. You can see how powerful this is and how easy it is now to really start to network for each other and help grow each other's businesses. It's just a beautiful tool. So I've sent that off and there it is. And there's George's card. It comes up and all this information about him and I'm, and I'm off to the races. So again here, let's go back to our contacts page. I want to show you a few things here. When you start to get lots and lots of contacts, okay, you can start to put people in groups. So we have this option here. So I have my group here, Le Tip, all right? And um, I've already added uh, Stephen uh, Remedini to that group. And I can add other people. Let's say I want to add George to that group here. I just say add, click on Le Tip, and he's added. And then if you want to, if we go back to the full contact screen, at the very top here, filter by group, I can click on filter by group. I choose the group like Lit Tip, and it shows me all those people in that group. So as you start to add folks, we want to make this easy for you to start to organize people into multiple groups. The last thing I want to show you, if we go back to the home page screen, on the settings tab, so the red button right down here, let's click on that. We've added the ability for you to add a contact share message. So if I click on right here, share contact messages, you can add a new message. So this is if you have multiple businesses, you can add multiple cards into the app, okay? And then when you share that business, you may have a specific message that you want to remember. So let's say that I work also for a title company. I could have my title company message and then I would have my text here that goes with that title company message. And I would save that. So then next time here, I'm in my contacts and I want to share my contact. I can then share by text and I can choose that title company message. So it's a specific text message that I want to send with my title company card. Okay. And it's that easy to do. So thank you for your time tonight and watching this presentation about how to use the vCard mobile app. You know, I, I encourage you to go out tonight and to download the mobile app and to try it out and start networking with it. Let us know what you think. Um, it's a very powerful networking tool that I, that, I really, that I know that really can grow your business and help grow other people's businesses too. Thank you again. And remember, vCard Global is the world's smartest business card.